We're good to go? Okay. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to uh, Brockton City Hall. Come on in and join us. The flag's down here. So it's a pleasure to welcome all of you uh, here to Brockton City Hall for our celebration of Greek Heritage Day that will conclude with the raising of the Greek flag here in City Hall. Uh, to open today's ceremony, I would like to uh, welcome my good friend, Father John Kiramarios, to come up and uh, give the invocation. On behalf of the Annunciation Church, the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church, and the entire Greek community of Brockton, I would like to express our appreciation to the mayor and to the uh, city hall personnel for hosting us again this year for the annual celebration of uh, Greek Independence Day. It is a great uh, day for us, for all of us. Uh, it has been, uh, what, 197 years since the uh, a small country like Greece had the capacity and the strength to actually get against the Ottoman Empire. Unheard and unbelievable that a small country like us got up and say enough is enough. And we became independent, the country of Greece as we were 2,000 years ago. Okay. So again, I haven't been here, Mr. Mayor, for the last nine years <laughs> because I'm retired. <laughs> you out but, but yeah, you're yeah, right. Now I told them that I'm going to re-retire no, okay. after, after Easter and Holy Week. <laughs> uh, again, we express our appreciation for having us and uh, may the Lord Bless you, Mr. Mayor, and your entire personnel here in the City Hall abundantly. And may I see and read uh, the progressive news in the Brockton Enterprise. I know that every time I see it, I say, yes, this is the mayor who thank did that. Thank well, we thank you again, and God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. So at this time, uh, to perform our national anthem, I would like to invite up Annunciation Choir Director Heidi Mason, along with Aristea Sotopoulos and Cassie Pashas. Thank you, that was awesome. Kalos Orisite. 
Uh, I would like to welcome everybody. Uh, we do have some of our elected uh, officials here with us. I'd like to recognize them. Uh, Ward 6 City Councilor Jack Lally is here with us today. Jack. <laughs> Ward 7 City Councilor Shirley Asak. Uh, Plymouth County District Attorney Tim Cruz. Mr. District Attorney, thank you for being here. And uh, State Senator Mike Brady, who will have some remarks for us in just a little bit. Mike is convinced he's Greek. I know that's answer. That's answer. Yeah. Last week on St. Patrick's Day, he was Irish, but today he's Greek. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, as always, it's a great pleasure uh, to see so many of our friends from the Greek American community here today as we celebrate a great Greek Independence Day on Sunday. Uh, for 400 years, the Greek people were slaves and oppressed by the Ottoman Empire. But it was 197 years ago, as Father mentioned uh, on Sunday, uh, that uh, Bishop Germanos of Patras raised the Greek flag at his monastery, which started the War of Greek Independence, and the cry, freedom or death. Zoe e Thanatos uh, became the motto of the revolution. And since 1821, the flag of Greece has had a white cross on the upper right-hand corner covering one-fourth of the flag, signifying the important role of the Greek Orthodox Church in the formation of the Hellenic nation. And the blue and white alternating stripes represent the sea and relentless, relentless waves of the Aegean. And the nine stripes represent each syllable of the words, freedom or death. Today, we also celebrate what Greece has contributed since its ancient days. The glorious Parthenon still stands as a symbol of beauty and architectural perfection. And throughout the world, buildings are modeled with Greek design, including our own American capital in Washington, DC. Also today, it is great to see that the Greek people all over the world are standing together in a united front in regards to the province of Macedonia. Just this past Sunday, thousands gathered in front of the United Nations in New York to protect the province and its history stemming from Alexander the Great. Macedonia is Greek and it always will be. I'm gonna do my best. E makothonea, ini iliniki. So at this time, uh, it is my pleasure to invite up to the podium uh, my friend and uh, parish council, uh, uh, vice president of the parish council of the Greek Orthodox Church, George Panagalopoulos. Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter, Honorable Se Senator Michael Brady, Reverend Father John Kiramarius, Honorable Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, uh, Mr. Bill Kafka, President of the Federation of New England Societies, Zito Yelas. We're here today to celebrate the 25th of 1821 to mark the beginning of the Greek Revolution. Greece is a country where democracy was born. Greece is a country where the science and dialogue were found. Greece is a country where language was used to cultivate thinking, a country where the Olympic Games were found. The Greek language became the international language and the language where the New Testament was written. We as an American of Greek descent are proud of our heritage and we're, and we're proud of our contribution to this country, the United States of America, for our contribution to the state of Massachusetts and the contribution of our great city of Brockton. On March 25, 1821, a message a messenger from Ar Archangelos Gabriel told Theotokos that will deliver Jesus. The same day, 
was chosen by the Greeks to start the Greek Revolution and the liberation of Greece from the occupation of the Turkish Ottoman Empire. On 25th of March, 1821, a small group of rebels took the arms to fight for the liberation of Greece. Freedom or death was their slogan and motivated the Greeks to fight the Ottoman Empire. In, P in places like Calavrita, Kalamata, Patra, Dervenakia, Tripoli, and elsewhere on land and at sea, the Greeks fought with the weapons they got from their previous battles. They fought for their children, for their religion, and for their freedom. The Ottoman Empire occupied Greece almost 400 years, which many other nations lost their identity a few, a few years of occupation, but not the Greeks. The values of human rights, the values of family, kept a spark light lit in the fire accord in the 25th of March, 1821. The nations of the world learn about the Greek Revolution, and many bring this matter to their government and ask them for help. Governor, Governor Webster of Massachusetts was among them. Lord Byron of England put all his property for the Greek Revolution and went to Greece to fight the Turks. Dr. Samuel Howe from Boston went to Greece to help the wounded and many uh, other philelnes. Today, with the Greeks here in the United States, here in Brockton, Massachusetts, we are proud of our heritage, our history, and the contribution to our society. We we'll continue our journey in American citizens of Greek descent, and we're proud. We're part of this country, a mosaic of nations, and we should continue to convey to our children and grandchildren these values for a better society. We, stood, we should introduce to our neighbors and friends th these values. The first Greek immigrants did not speak English language, the, the English language. But today, our children and grandchildren flourish in many areas, business, academia, medicine, and politics. Together with our con continued efforts, we can improve ourselves to a better future. Zito i kosti pemti martiu. Zito i elas. God bless America. Η 25η Μαρτίου 1821 αποτελεί την ημέρα της εθνικής μας παλιγενεσίας και είναι η πηγή του νεότερου εθνικού μας βίου. Είναι μοναδική ημέρα αφού είναι η μέρα που ο Αρχάγγελος φέρνει το μήνυμα της ελευθέρωσης του αθεανθρώπου, καθώς και την πατρίδα Ελλάδα την ελευθερία. Στις 29 Μαΐου... 1453, όταν έπεφτε η πόλη και μαζί με, το, με τη Βυζαντινή Αυτοκρατορία έφυγε και η ελευθερία από τα ελληνικά χώματα για να επακολουθήσουν χρόνια βόγου και θανάτου, χρόνια γεμάτα μαρτύρια και δάκρυα, ταπείνωσης και εξευτελισμούς. Αλλά η ελληνική ψυχή δεν δέχτηκε την είδα τη και δεν υπόκυψε στη μοίρα τη. Μέσα στα μοναστήρια και στα ξοκλήσια, ο παπαδάσκαλο. Ανάβει τη φλόγα της λευτεριάς στην καρδιά των ραγιάδων. Εκεί μέσα η φιλή βλέπει τι έχασε, τι έχει και τι πρέπει. Στις κρίσιμες ώρες του εθνικού κατακλυσμού, η Εκκλησία και η τολμηρή γίνονται κυβωτός της εθνικής μας κληρονομιάς. Και έρχεται το πλήρωμα του χρόνου και ο ελληνικός λαός ορθώνεται σαν ένας άνθρωπος. Ο θούριος του Ρήγα ακούγεται παντού. Από το μοναστήρι της Αγίας Λάβρας η κραγιά, ελευθεριά η θάνατος. Σχίζει τον σκλαβωμένο αέρα σαν αστραπή και κλονίζει το θάνατο του Σουλτάνου. Η Ελλάδα αναγεννιέται από τη στάχτη του σαν μυθικό πουλί. Το πέσιμο της έφερε ένα μεγαλύτερο ανέβασμα σε ύψη του ουρανού, όπως τονίζει, <coughs> όπως τονίζει και ο Παλαμάς. 
και εμείς τι να πρωτοθυμηθούμε, ποιο όνομα τόπου ή ήρωα να αναφέρουμε, κάθε τόπος είναι και βωμός για προσκύνημα. Κάθε όνομα πολεμιστική, πολεμιστή είναι ένα σύμβολο ηρωισμού που μένει στην αιωνιότητα και μας αφήνει ένα σύμβολο ειρήνης και ελευθερίας εθνικής ζωής. Ζήτω 25η Μαρτίου. Ζήτω. At this time, I'd like to invite up a State Senator Mike Brady for a few remarks. Thank you, Ernesto. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and all of the people who have shown up today, uh, friends. I also want to recognize uh, City Council Tim Cruz, who has arrived, and City Council Susan Nicastro was here. She had another meeting. And uh, I know our State Representative Claire Cronin is on her way from Boston. She is the first woman, uh, chairwoman of the Judiciary Committee in the history of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So it's a great endeavor for her and great for our community. And I know Representative Jerry Cassie has with it another event this morning. He had another commitment, but he sends his regards because he grew up with a lot of us that we all grew up with, the families in our communities that we never forget. We could never get back from our heart the friendships and the relationships that we have built over the years, and you are our family here in the community in Brockton. And as we know, democracy started in Greece, but we learned that when the United States of America was formed. And uh, the contributions you've given to our country, as well as to the community in the city of Brockton, is unmeasured. We, we can never give back what you have given to us. And I'm ever grateful for the relationships that we have developed over the years. And we must never forget we've lost a lot of good families in the community in Greece. And we, we Mr. Barbas, who just passed away, his, his family was in our prayers. And Tracy Harrington Barbas, who married Chris, who was the first female police officer, sergeant in the history of the city of Brockton. And thank you for promotion from uh, uh, Mayor, but um, we just honored uh, Tracy Harrington Barbas in the State House. We had a little memorial for her, and uh, her husband Chris was able to come in. So I hope you can join us for a Greek independent celebration at the State House. We do it the Friday right before the parade, and I know uh, Arthur always comes in, and a lot of our community friends comes in. But um, if you have the opportunity, you're more than welcome because. This building, the City Hall, is a people's house like the State House is a people's house. It is not our house as elected officials, it is your house. So thank you from the bottom of our heart for your friendship and what you've done for our community. And God bless and have kind of store. Thank you, Senator. So can I tell the Thai story real quick? Okay. So this is my fifth Greek Independence Day as mayor. This is my Greek Independence tie that I wear every year. So I borrowed this tie five years ago from George Sotopoulos, and I'm still wearing it every year. So I don't think he's getting it back at this point. So we have some wonderful Greek pastries that you brought to share afterwards. And they were delivered to the office a little bit earlier today. And I happen to be a big fan of Greek pastry. So I decided to sneak one out of the container and have one earlier. The problem is when I bit into it, the stuff came out of it and dripped right on the front of my tie, very noticeably. So thank goodness for my friends over at Legion Parkway Cleaners who cleaned it for me very quickly so I could put it back on and have it here for the ceremony. So I almost had to do this with a big stain on the tie that's not even really mine in the first place. Um, but it's, it's wonderful to be here. Um, I would like to issue a uh, proclamation on behalf of the city at this time. And um, George, I'll invite you up to accept the proclamation on the part of the city. And Father John, where's Father? Oh, Father John, please join us. You guys can get both right on the side here. So the proclamation reads, Whereas Greek declared independence from the Ottoman Empire on March 25, 1821, in an act that demonstrated the resolute spirit that has characterized Greek culture through the ages. 
And whereas the birth of democracy in Greece ushered in a golden age of Western civilization, creating a culture that valued human liberty and dignity, principles that have inspired American democracy to this day. And whereas the friendship between our two nations flows from our shared values, our common goals, and mutual respect, and our alliance has remained strong through decades of challenge and change. And whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of Greek customs, religion, and culture, which were brought to us by the Greek immigrants who made their way to our city and made an indelible mark on the city of champions. And whereas it is an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our citizens of Greek ancestry and to extend to them best wishes for continued success and prosperity. Now therefore be it resolved that I, Bill Carpenter, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim today, March 23rd, as Greek Heritage Day. And I urge all residents of the city of Brockton to join me in observing this day and recognizing the wonderful contributions the Greek culture has made right here in our city. And it's my uh, pleasure to present this to George and to Father John representing the Greek community. I introduced him earlier, Mike, but I'm sure he appreciates all the attention. Yeah. <laughs> so Mike would like to announce that the district attorney is still here. <laughs> Just <laughs> now, uh, now I lost my train of thought. Here we go. Kalitera uh, mia ora. Ilefteri Zoe para Saranda Ronya Sklavia K. Filiki. So at this time, we'd like to uh, welcome our singing guests back up here again um, Heidi and Aristea and Cassie. They are going to perform the Greek national anthem, and Father and George will invite you to raise the Greek flag, and we'll give you a hand with it while they perform the Greek national anthem. Oli mazi. Απτα κόκαλα γραμμένη τον Ελλήνο τα ελά και σαν πρώτα αγριωμένη χαίρο χαίρο ελεύθερια και σαν πρώτα αγριωμένη χαίρο χαίρο ελεύθερια και σαν πρώτα αγριωμένη χαίρο χαίρο Thank you. I forgot to mention that I signed the proclamation, Vasilios Marangos. Zito i ekosti pemti martio, zito i elas. Zito i elas. I'll see you at the Macedonia Club. Right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here. Please enjoy some of the refreshments.